Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the handle retainer in a GE dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat lead screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new handle retainer. The handle retainer serves as a mounting bracket for the door handle and the handle actuator. If you are having difficulties opening the dishwasher's door, check the handle retainer and replace it if needed. Open the door. Take out the eight Phillips screws that holds the inner and outer doors together and then separate them. Latch the inner door and open the outer door. Using the flat blade screwdriver, carefully, not to break the tabs, lift them up and remove the interlock switch cover. Memorize or take a picture of how the plunger is mounted. Then remove the plunger. Don't let that spring to get away. Separate the spring from the plunger. Remove the top brace. Using the flat blade screwdriver, carefully pry out the end of the handle with a shorter post from the handle retainer. Remove the handle. Using the flat blade screwdriver, pry out the end of the handle retainer and pull it out together with the actuator. Release the end of the handle actuator without the spring from the handle retainer and separate them. Try not to lose the spring. This is the old handle retainer next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Insert the end of the actuator with the spring into the mounting hole of the new handle retainer and hook up the spring. Insert the opposite end into the mounting hole. Install the handle retainer into the retaining clip and push it in to lock. Slide in the handle and lock it into the side mounting holes. Install the plunger and spring. The two plunger shoulders should be right under the two switch actuators. Install the interlock switch cover. See if everything works fine before you're assembling it any further. Install the top brace. Position the air diverter on the outer door and install the inner door in place, matching the holes. Secure the doors together with the eight Phillips screws. And then close the door. Plug the dishwasher in and enjoy your clean dishes. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please, Check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.